Here is Greg Lewis. Men and women mix it up tonight, literally, in mixed pairs gymnastics. Alexei Nemov and Svetlana Horkina are the golden Russian pair to beat. But in the preliminaries, they were upstaged by Ukrainians Olga Teslenka and Roman Zolzulia. Watch out, world, for this teenage pair. And the best of the rest, who double up, side down, in gymnastics' battle of the nations. Inside Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, it is the final day of an eight-day week of gymnastics competition. And coming up, it's the Mixed Pairs Final, a two-day event. Today is the final day. Men and women have selected two apparatus on which to compete, excluding the vault. The top eight teams advanced from yesterday to today's finals, but their scores did not carry over. The team score to determine the championship team is a combined total of today's two rounds. Alexei Nemov of Russia on the second finishing team in the qualifying round. His partner, Svetlana Horkina. Working with me, Kathy Johnson Clark and Bart Connor. Nemov, the dominant figure in the 94 Goodwill Games in gymnastics, has been impressive on the floor so far here. Won the championship in the individual event. Competition on the floor. He scored a 9.725 in the final to win the gold medal there. He scored a 9.625 yesterday. We talk about fatigue. These athletes have been competing for eight days in a row. We'll see what Nyemov goes for in his opening tumbling run. This may be an indication as to how fit he is. Oh, no. There is a perfect example of perhaps his exhaustion. He went for the double twisting double and he was way short. Out of bounds. You go off the blue carpeted area, you lose a half a, you one tenth of a point. I couldn't help but look over at Svetlana Horkina to see if there was any reaction when her partner missed. She's just going about her business, getting ready for the uneven bars. But with, with as many of the athletes probably fatigued, they ought to hang in there, because you never know. Everyone might make these little mistakes. Pike double bat. Beautiful form. Unfortunately, he's going to have a major deduction with that opening tumbling run. And he knows that wasn't his best effort. Well, his best efforts include a first at the 97 Worlds for Alexei Nemov. This really is one of the more common passes that we're seeing, but he does it with such style and finesse. Unfortunately, bounced right out of the floor area, though. It's a big boy. He covers a lot of floor area. Some of the little guys have an advantage in a way. 5'8", 140. And here is a tall woman who many thought didn't have the body for this kind of gymnastics, certainly at the level that she has competed. And she is the top performer in the world on the uneven bars, Svetlana Horkin. She has a list as long as her body of credentials here. Two Goodwill Games, two European titles, three world, and an Olympic title on this event. Two moves named after her. This is a gorgeous combination. Here comes that move, Greg, right here. She's got a 9.85 in the preliminary round. And everybody thought the judges gave her the benefit of the doubt because she actually hit the floor. This was way better. What are they going to do? Go 10 2? <laughs> <laughs> her lowest score has been a 9 8. We've seen her hit four bars routines in a row this week, and uh, all of them equally fantastic this is just beautiful work you know when you see her face as she's walking off I, I, I never really want to read somebody's mind but I do want to read hers sometimes she has such interesting expression Greg you mentioned having skills named after her in all on all the apparatus she has six elements named after her more than any other gymnast in history that's a tribute to her originality 19.225 for Niemoff and Horkina 
and it is not good enough to move them into the top spot in this first round. And these next two competitors, Roman Zozulia and Olga Teslenka, really the surprise of the preliminaries. Teenage couple from Ukraine who finished first in the opening round yesterday. Again, though, the scores do not carry over. They are so modest compared to Nyemov and Horkina, who are certainly really out there and animated. But they're equally impressive. Zozuli had a 9-7 in one of the preliminary rounds on this event, so he has the potential for a great score here. Notice the rings are swinging. Every swing of the rings, he can have as much of a, as a tenth of a point deducted or the loss of control there. But his body line and technique is just absolutely perfect. Roman Zozulia, the 97 Ukraine rings champion and getting first prize from Kathy Johnson Clark for best name yeah. in the competition. That's a cool name, you have to admit. <laughs> just 19 years old, I think we're gonna see a lot from this young man as we look ahead to the 2000 Olympics. Remember that terrific name because he will be there and he'll be an important contender. His partner, Olga Teslenka, will be up on the uneven bars. Fifth place at the 98 Europeans in this discipline. She swings really well on this event. Once in a while, she loses a little bit of form with her feet and legs. But when she's tight, it's beautiful. She also has the distinction of having a move named after her. Notice the position she hits, right? Oh, very nice landing on a double front. A difficult dismount to land that well. Olga Teslenka. These are the inverted giants into her double front and beautiful landing. So once again, uh, very quiet and demure as they sit on the bench. Their scores a total of 19.4. And right now, that puts them atop the leaderboard. When we come back, we'll have Alexei Bondarenka, the highest scoring gymnast in these Goodwill games. Take a look. Who has had the most successful Goodwill games of any single competitor. And he will start on the rings. He and his young teammate, the uh, perhaps next female star of all gymnastics, not just Russian gymnastics, Anna Kovalyova, surprisingly only finishing in sixth in the qualifying, but probably knowing that they only had to get in the top eight to go to today and the scores didn't carry over, saving the good stuff for us right now. You could definitely tell they were all kind of pacing themselves, knowing they had another full round, they just wanted to qualify. Watch this sequence he's gonna do towards the end of the routine. He does two double back somersaults within the rings. And when you notice it, look to see if it would be wise to them for them to take their shoulder joints out and put a ball bearing joint in there. Watch what he's gonna do. Double right there, crank, double crank. Whew. Little swing in that handstand. He handled it, though. Gorgeous dismount. Took the silver in the event finals here in the Goodwill Games on the rings. He's just 19 years old. He didn't compete on the Russian team that came to the Olympics in 1996. 